extra hour of shut eye. Right. And that'll, hopefully and it'll also lead to an extra hour of daylight in the morning time in the winter months. So that's something to look forward to, right? And also that extra hour of sleep. I know mm -hmm. our floor director Steve is very excited for that, as am I. Uh, this morning we're starting off on a cool note. So temperatures are starting off a little bit chillier than yesterday, about 5 to 11 degrees cooler. You can see right now we're waking up with a temperature of 47 degrees and our dew point temperature is at 45 in the city. So very close to our air temperature. So that shows you that there is some saturation, some moisture in the atmosphere. So we are waking up to some of that patchy dense fog. This morning our temperatures across the area sitting in the mid to upper 40s near the state line to the lower 50s down towards Stevensville. 46 degrees is the current temperature for everyone in Easton in Talbot County. I did mention that we have some patchy dense fog developing out towards Frederick, seeing about one mile, less than a quarter of a mile in Chestertown, and visibility is still a little bit more reduced along the lower end of the eastern shore. So use those low beams this morning, but you'll need to bring the sunglasses with you. If you're heading out to work around 9 to 10 o'clock, we will be dealing with that low level cloud cover slowly starting to erode away, and more sunshine is expected this afternoon. But the kids are going to need the jacket this morning, again, as we are waking up with chillier temperatures in the 40s. Believe it or not, that's still slightly above where we should be. We're typically supposed to be around the lower 40s for this time of year, so uh, feeling a little bit more seasonal out there this morning compared to recent mornings. If you want to head out to the apple orchards today to pick some apples, uh, skies will be more sunny today. Temperatures will rise into the mid and upper 60s, and some spots could possibly touch that 70 degree mark, but a lot of us are going to be in the upper 60s this afternoon. So you might be asking yourself, why are we so warm? This is we're dealing with temperatures well above normal, and it really has to deal with the jet stream. So a very fast flowing column of air, a very narrow band of strong winds high upstairs in the atmosphere. That's known as the jet stream, and this has a very big influence on our weather pattern. So we're dealing with this very strong northerly wind flow across the Pacific Northwest. That's allowing all this warm air to filter in, not just across the Mid-Atlantic, but across the Midwest and even for areas across the southeast. So yes, we're just going to continue to warm up over the next few days, especially this weekend. We're dry out there this morning with some low level clouds, seeing a mixture of sunshine and clouds through the afternoon and looking at that same case as we head into your Friday, keeping conditions dry as we wrap up the work week. Make sure to turn that clock back one hour before heading to bed. There is that chance of a few isolated raindrops on Sunday and then trending cooler as we head into the middle of next week. Megan. All right, Stevie, thank you. Well, today.